Young's double slit experiment talks about uh, how light could be viewed as a wave. Right? This is Thomas Young, who was a famous English polymath in the 1700s. Uh, control yourself, ladies. When you shine a light through a single slit with a laser beam or any source of coherent light, uh, coherent means light that maintains the same frequency and phase relationship, you get a single slit, a, si a bright maxima behind the slit. And you would expect, if you use two slits, you would just get two strips of light. But that's not what happens. In a single slit, you get one central bright maximum, but if you use two slits, you get a series of maxima and minima, backwards and forwards, getting weaker and weaker out from the central bright maxima. Now, how do we explain this? We know that light, or uh, any wave, can diffract. It diffracts more if it's about the same, s the gap or the obstacle that's diffracting round or through is about the same size as the wavelength. So, here's an example of water waves diffracting. You'll notice when they meet in the middle, you get very white parts here in the diagram. That shows you that the waves are superposing or interfering constructively. Here we have the double slit experiment. We have the two slits on the left. And behind on the screen, we have a central bright maxima and a series of minima and the other maxima as you go out from the central maxima. Now, why do we get this? It's partly due to the path difference. Okay, From the two slits here, reaching the front, there's no difference in the distance travelled between the top slit and the central maxima and the bottom slit and the central maxima. There's no path difference. Here, in the first maxima, the path difference is equal to one wavelength. On the second maxima, it's equal to 2. So, when the waves meet and they're in phase, they can constructively interfere with e each other, which increases the amplitude of the waves. So the central bright maxima, and then other maximas as we go out from the centre, and then in between we have minimas. If the path difference is equal to a wavelength times an integer number, then you will get constructive interference. If it's equal to half a wavelength, for example, the first minima, the path difference is equal to half a wavelength, the second minima is equal to a wavelength and a half, and then two and a half wavelengths, etc., etc., then the waves will be antiphase and you get areas of darkness. Here's the same sort of principle demonstrated as a wave diagram. So we have the waves on the left hand side meeting when they're at antiphase, creating a minima, whereas the waves on the right meet exactly in phase, superposing constructively to produce a maxima. Here's a link to a brilliant video about electron interference, how electrons can be thought as of a wave featuring the famous Dr. Quantum. I hope this helps you understand what's going on with the Young's double slit experiment. Thank you.